Starfield, Starfield, Starfield. What a game, huh? I already gave my two cents on why I think this game is the most boring game Bethesda has put out in over a decade. Possibly ever. And people are surprised it, it wasn't nominated for Game of the Year. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. Hell, the only category it was nominated for at the Game Awards was Best RPG. And no way in hell is that going to beat out something like Baldur's Gate 3. And this is a game that was touted to be replayable for 10 years, and yet people are already abandoning it in waves on Steam currently after only two months after release. Starfield has a lower player count than Skyrim, which in case you've forgotten, was released back in 2011. Damn! As of Tuesday, November 14th, over the past 24 hours, Starfield has drawn a maximum of 26,705 players on Steam. Now, Starfield is also available on Game Pass, so this isn't the entire player base. But it's telling that the majority of people playing this game currently got it essentially free. Which probably takes the sting out a little bit to how boring and bland the game is. Even Hogwarts Legacy wasn't nominated. The only reason I'm assuming is because of the backlash people would have. Because, you know, because of it. Because it's a pretty good game. Now that that's out of the way, let's list the other games nominated for Game of the Year. We've got Alan Wake 2, Spider-Man 2... Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Resident Evil 4 Remake, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and of course, Baldur's Gate 3. Starfield doesn't come close to any of those games. It's full of half-baked systems, unfulfilling quests. Its main selling point, space travel and exploration, is 10 steps back from games like No Man's Sky. And when it comes to the narrative side of a Bethesda RPG, there are very few story choices which leave a lasting impact on the worlds of Starfield's galaxy. I struggle to see how it'll beat out Baldur's Gate 3 or anything else for even best RPG, let alone the other competition on that list. I mean, even if some fans consider Starfield their personal game of the year, objectively looking at the nominees, it's hard to say if it could re replace any one of those games there. You could argue... Maybe Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Hell, as boring as I find Starfield, I'd probably maybe replace Tears of the Kingdom with it, because I just hate it and Breath of the Wild. A very, very controversial, unpopular opinion. I just prefer the other 3D Zeldas uh, way more to these new open world bland ones to me. I might delve more into that in a future video. But it's a shame how far Bethesda has fallen in just a few years. Their games went from day one buys to let's wait a few years for fans to mod the game and make it infinitely better. I hope this is a wake-up call for Bethesda and a sign for them to really sit down with Elder Scrolls 6, as it could be the final straw with a lot of fans after Fallout 76 and now Starfield. Now, in terms of the Game Awards... If there was a best game overhauled by mods a year or two later category, Starfield, you know, would probably win that in 2024. 